Hey guys, what's going on? I usually don't show this kind of stuff, but I was so impressed with this jacket. Uh, I, I couldn't believe how nice it was for the money. Um, when you first hold this jacket, it feels like, like a $250 jacket. Uh, I went to work one day, and a friend of mine uh, had, it, had it hanging over a chair. I said, that's a nice jacket, and I, I picked it up. And as soon as I grabbed it and felt the material, I was like, damn, dude, this is a really fucking nice jacket. Where'd you get it? And he told me where he got it. And uh, his was OD Greens. Really nice. Uh, I don't know much about these, but this one's called the Condor Summit Soft, Se Soft Shell Jacket. I think I said that right. And this is the model uh, 602, I think. And if you guys want like a really good, yeah, it's a model 602. If you guys want a really good um, jacket with a lot of pockets like a utility jacket this is the one um, like I said it feels like over a $200 jacket and they're like 80 bucks and I'm not promoting Condor or anything I just went to the officer store um, it's not too far from here in Coatesville Pennsylvania so it's only like 50 minutes from my house and the, the mistake I made is <clears throat> the first one I ordered it was a lightweight version well, I didn't order it. My friend ordered it. Thank you. It's all right. He tried. He ordered me the lightweight version by accident. And when I got it, it felt like a friggin' windbreaker. I'm like, no, this is not what I want. It wasn't the same one he had. So then I ordered one to replace it. And with the, uh, with, with, this is the heavier version. And it's called the Summit um, uh, Soft Shell Jacket from Condor. Or they have another one called the Phantom. Uh, just stay away from the 609 model. That's the one that's like a windbreaker. You don't want that one. That one kind of blows. Unless you want a windbreaker. But I just wanted to show it to you. It's really, really cool. Uh, there's a lot to it. It looks just like a, a normal jacket, but you have to, uh, when you feel the material, it's like a stretchy scuba material. And I think it's called fleece or some shit like that. Uh, I don't know shit about this, but it does have uh, two 4x4 four four panel Velcro patches. I got the OD Green American flag on there, in the right direction for once. <clears throat> and I just wanted to show it to you, because um, you can get this jacket for friggin' 80 bucks. It has a rolled up hood inside the collar, so you unzip the collar, the hood unrolls. Uh, you can get it with or without the hood. So I just wanted to show you that. And the inside of it is like a nice soft... Um, kind of feels like a sheepskin, but it's cotton, and it's got all these friggin' pockets in it, all these inside pockets, it has all these rubber grommets where you can fish your, um, fish your MP3 wire through, uh, you know, if you, you know, you're listening to music and all, it's crazy, man, it has pockets in the armpits, okay, in case you got BO and you smell like a friggin' billy goat, you gotta put some deodorant on, I don't know why there's, uh, Zippers in the pocket, in the armpits. I don't know. I mean, it's something I'm not familiar with, but it's cool that that's there. And it's a very, very waterproof, heavy-duty, stretchy, wind-resistant. Like no wind blows to it. It's very, very warm. So I just wanted to show you this. Also, it also has a pocket right here on the sleeve, and it has a po has pockets everywhere. Pockets in the back, side, upper chest, everything. It's freaking crazy, and uh, very, very comfortable. And uh, I'm glad I bought it. Now, the whole thing with these is, if you're a 2XL, order a 3XL. I just went through this. The two, they run small. If you are a 2XL, it'll be, it'll fit you like just right. There won't be any room for anything else. So I would recommend you order a 3XL. If you're, if you're a large, get an extra large. Just go a size up. And uh, this is a 3XL, and it fits perfectly because I'm a 2XL, believe it or not. Alright, and I just want to show you that. I thought that was pretty sweet. Uh, anytime I find a good bargain on a high quality product, I like to let you guys in on it. So, Thank you, Billy, for introducing me to this awesome jack. Um, we're going to do a little update on the uh, Sig Sauer MPX. Just going to give you an update on how it's been running. I'm also going to give a flashlight away today. This is a little light, but it's really really nice as usual and I wanted to give you a quick update on the shirts 
you guys have a right to know what happened. You're probably wondering what the hell happened. He was selling shirts and all of a sudden, boom, nothing. Well, apparently I'm too fussy uh, or I'm too needy. So uh, that was the answer that I got. And I am. I, I, it's, it's, I'm not blaming the company that made the shirts and I'm not blaming me. We just don't agree. Okay. Um, when I ask for something, um, I get impatient when I don't get an answer, you know, at least within 24 hours. Like, I kind of get impatient. Not that I think I'm special. I just want to know where everything is, how everything's going. And I'm always asking about stuff, especially about quality, shipping, all that stuff. I'm a pain in the ass. And, uh, you know, I was, obviously, they didn't like the way I was acting. Uh, they thought I was a little too impatient. I don't fucking know. But that's what happened, so... When I when I when they approached me that way, I got I got pissed off and pretty much told them that's it, I'm done. Uh, here I am, trusting somebody that I've never met before, a total stranger. I don't even know how many shirts they're selling. I just have to trust them on the number they're telling me it's selling. Not that I'm saying they're lying, but for me to trust them as a stranger is pretty fucking awesome, don't you think, guys? Nobody would do that. I don't think anybody would do that. So I had no way to keep track of the shirt, so I was a little nervous about that. But, I, you know, they had my trust, because, you know, they seem like good people. But I was always, you know, speculating, like, you know, this many shirts sold, you know, that many shirts could have sold. So I was kind of on edge about that, but whatever. It's just, it is what it is. So I'm going to have to find somebody else that will make the shirts, and I, I need to be able to monitor how many are selling, that's all. And, uh, yes, I am fussy, so, uh, whoever makes my shirts next, I constantly want to be in touch with you to see what's going on, how the shipping is, how the quality is, and, uh, where tracking numbers are and all that stuff, so, if, the, if anyone can't deal with that, then I'm just going to ship them by myself, frigate. So that's what happened with the fucking shirts, okay, there you go. Alright, let's look at the, uh, SIG MPX. Um, uh, you seen this? quite a few times. Let me take my 43 out. The 43 is awesome. It's a great little 9mm, I'll say it every time. If you shoot the 43 a little to the left, just keep on shooting it, man. Because you got to remember, the, little, the 43 is a small 9mm. It's extremely light, so it's going to recoil more. You just got to get some trigger time behind it, and you'll, you'll straighten yourself out. Um, unless there's something wrong with the gun. This has been very reliable. Uh, I don't shoot it a lot. I ain't gonna say. You know, I got about 800, 900 rounds through it, but it's it's never jammed. It never has any hang-ups. It runs pretty much any kind of ammo I put through it, unless the ammo is goofy. But any kind of regular ammo I put through this, it runs perfect. Uh, it's starting to feel like butter. It's getting really slick because it's breaking in because of the rubbing. Uh, the second generation MPX. Has a better charging handle. I'm not sure if it'll fit on uh, the first generation. I got to find out because I like the second generation. Has the, the dual charging handle. Very very nice. There's nothing wrong with this charging handle, but I like the dual. You can grab it quickly and, and charge it without reassuring you have a good sturdy grip on it. You just you can slingshot it easier. Um, a lot of people are, are mad because when the charging handle snaps into position. It kind of hits the uh, housing, the back housing of the receiver. It's not a big deal. It rubs the paint off, as you can see. Who cares? Okay, let me see. As long as it's not digging in and pinging the receiver, I don't see a problem, which I don't see it doing that. It's very smooth. It's just, it's just you know, it's rubbing the paint off. If that bothers you, Put a piece of talon grip there, that's all, a rubber one, you know, cushion it. But, um, yeah, I love this thing. Uh, the Vortex Spark 2, like I said, if you don't have the money for a $400 aim point or a $600 aim point or an EOTech, uh, the Vortex Spark 2 is a, is a phenomenal way to go. Uh, the only thing I don't like about it is when you put it on, it won't stay on all the time. It shuts off after a while, that kind of sucks. Uh, so if you have to use it under stress and you got to worry about putting this on, I don't know. I don't know, man. In a quick situation, I don't know if it's if it's possible to do that that fast. 
when you're under stress. I don't really like that. I wish I wish the, the light would stay on as long as you left it on. You know, I'll I'll decide when to turn it off. But it's a power saving thing, so that's the only thing I don't like about it. But it's robust. It's very heavy duty. It's really easy to sight in. And once you sight it in, you can split hairs with it. It's a fantastic optic, Vortex Spark Two. Okay, and this light. Now that I've had it for a while, the Inforce uh, light. Uh, this particular one, I think this is the Travis Haley style one, I don't know. It's momentary only, it's the 200 lumens, you don't need a million lumens. And um, what I like about it is the size, it's the perfect size. If I could afford it, I wish I could put one of these on every every gun that I have, everything. My shotgun, AR, uh, my pump shotgun, because it's just the perfect little size, gives you plenty of light and it's very robust. Very easy to take on and off too. It's not under a lot of pressure. It's under leverage. What I mean by that is when you unscrew it, that's me over tightening everything. Okay, when you unscrew it, it comes right off. Like it's, it doesn't work. It works on spring tension, but after it's on there, it's not something you have to tighten with a screwdriver or anything. You just tighten this little dial down. Just enough till it stops, and it, it just keeps it from going in. It's a really, it's almost like a quick release, really. It really, it's very close to being like that. That's why I like it, and it looks great. Looks fantastic. So yeah, if you're thinking about an MPX, go for it, man. They're very reliable. They run great, and I'm still very, very, very happy with it. And of course, I like Spear Gold that hollow points. If it's legal in your state, that's. That's what I like in my uh, home defense system. This is great for home defense because it's 9mm. You're not using an overpowering uh, uh, gun to defend your home. In other words, if you use this in, in your house, they can't crucify you in court saying you used overpower like an AR-15. It's just a 9mm. It just holds a lot of ammo. It's great. Uh, I got the Geisley trigger in there. Uh, it's fantastic, man. It's just that Geisley trigger is really makes it. If you wait long enough, you don't need a Geisley trigger. The trigger will smooth itself out after about a thousand rounds. It'll feel like glass, but if you don't want to wait, throw a Geisley in there and uh, you'll love it. So that's that. Okay, so um, the next through night flashlight, this is called the T10. This is how you get the, the light in this aluminum box here. Very nice packaging. Awesome directions. Very thorough. Um, man, all kinds of stuff in here. All different languages, of course. Alright, that's why we got to build a wall. Alright, so here it is. This is the T10. Very, very nice looking light and it has a dull matte finish it is a through night T10 it has a stainless steel head it has a nice black clip it has a rubber switch on the back nice rubber switch and there's two ways you can uh, go through to go through the steps the uh, the setting sorry this is a diffuser I'll show you what that is in a minute you've seen that before now you can turn it on from the back and you can either pivot the head very bright light now it says 225 lumens is high but it seems a lot brighter than that so you can do that you can you can pivot the head go through the settings and you can also go through the settings with the rear see that's neat I've never seen that before yet in any of the lights they sent me so you can go through the settings with the rubber switch you can go through the settings with with twist in the head. Uh, beautiful looking light, comes with extra o-rings, of course it's waterproof and that is the Through Night T10. And the winner of the Through Night T10 is my man Rob from Double Action because he deserves one. 
That's why. Okay, Rob watches the video, so just because he's local don't mean he's not a subscriber. So he's going to get one next. Here's what the fuser does. Put that on there and uh, you can chase your wife around in the dark with that. See? Remember what that, uh, I don't know if you guys remember, I'm a little older now. What was that movie with John Ritter when they had the glow in the dark rubbers? And they put them on, they were chasing each other around the bed. That was pretty funny. I forget what the hell that name of, name of that movie was. So there it is. The Through Night T10. That is a really nice light. Damn. That is nice. Very nice. All the extra parts are in here. All the schematics and this, uh, everything. All the setting ratios. It's all, everything you want to know about the light is in there. I'll put the link under the video in case you guys want to grab a light. Because you know through night, the thing is extremely reasonable. You know it's going to be like dirt cheap and uh, they're very high quality. And that's it. Congratulations, Rob. And uh, guys, thanks for watching. And that's it.